Sonic the Hedgehog is an adventure comedy which is based on the very popular video game franchise by Sega. The film stars Ben Schwartz as the voice for Sonic, and Jim Carrey as the mad Dr. Robotnik. It also stars James Marsden. The premise of the film is very straightforward, where a supersonic hedgehog called Sonic has been sent to Earth with a bag of golden rings which he can use to travel to various planets in the universe. Sonic has been living in secret in a small town of Green Hills in Montana. He inadvertently befriends local town sheriff Tom, James Marston, who agrees to help Sonic evade the government and to prevent the dastardly Dr. Robotnik from obtaining and using Sonic's powers to enhance his robotics and take over the world. Ever since the early 90s a film adaptation has been greenlit, then cancelled for one reason or another. Eventually Paramount acquired the rights to the film and so filming took place between September and October 2018. The film was set for a release date on the 8th of November 2019 but fans were immensely opposed to the design of Sonic when the first trailer was released. The film was set back by three months because of this and was so given a 14th of February 2020 release after reactions were highly positive after viewing Sonic's new image when the second trailer came out. Sonic the Hedgehog is Sega's flagship character just like Mario for Nintendo which of course was made into a live action adaptation in 1993 starring Bob Hoskins as Mario, John Leguizamo as Luigi and Dennis Hopper as King Cooper. The film was a flop at the box office and I can see why. I saw it back then in the cinema and didn't like it at all. The same goes for 1995 Street Fighter, which was even worse to be honest. It was clear to me at the time that live action versions of games don't work. All that changed after seeing Sonic the Hedgehog. I will admit I'm not the biggest fan of Sonic when it comes to this game history, characters and so forth, but I do enjoy playing them when I do. There are a couple of things I was aware of while watching the film that nodded to the games. The acting is good all round, but the ones that stand out the most are Ben Schwartz as Sonic and Jim Carrey as Robotnik. I'm not familiar with Schwartz's work, but I can definitely say that he embodies the character of Sonic brilliantly, the way I would have envisioned Sonic to be in a film like this. Jim Carrey is back on top form as Robotnik, with his unique style of larger than life energetic madness. If I had to compare him to any of his previous characters, I would say he performs like a more restrained version of the Riddler, which is for me a good thing, and works wonderfully for the film. James Marston is fine in his role as the likeable Sheriff Tom Wasowski and has good chemistry with Schwartz which is elevated during a few touching moments as well. The remaining cast do what's asked of them and help the film move along at a brisk pace and of which most of them are there for comic relief but never outstay their welcome. First time director Jeff Fowler does an admirable job and you can tell that this film is not a money grabber, especially when you consider the $5 million the studio had to put into an already $90 million film to change the look of Sonic. Yes, at the core of it all, studios do make films to make money, but you can tell a lot of care and love and attention has been given to this film. The script and main story are fine, even if cliched at times, with familiar tropes and themes that have been done before. The only issue I have is a subplot about James Marston's character being wanted by the government as a terrorist, but it's soon swept away and not mentioned again. But besides that though, I don't really care about any other issues the film has, because it's simply a fun, touching and energetic film with a lot of family fun to be had. Well thanks for watching guys, if you're new to my channel welcome, I hope you enjoyed my review of Sonic the Hedgehog and if you did please click like. Also please do tell me your thoughts on the film down below in the comments and don't forget to click subscribe and all in the notification options so you'll be kept up to date with my latest reviews. Thanks very much guys and I'll catch you next time.